ओम शांति 13 फरवरी इंग्लिश मोली स्वीट चिल्ड्रन फॉलो द अनडिवाइडेड डायरेक्शंस दैट यू आर रिसीविंग फ्रॉम द फादर एंड परफॉर्म द एलिवेटेड टास्क ऑफ ट्रांसफॉर्मिंग आई एम एजेड ह्यूमन बीइंग्स इनटू गोल्डन एजेड डेटीज क्वेश्चन व्हाट इज द मेन रीजन व्हाई ह्यूमन बीइंग्स हैव बिकम अनहैप्पी आंसर Ravana has cursed everyone this is why everyone has become unhappy the father gives you your inheritance ravana curses you the world does not even know this it was because the father gave the people of bharat their inheritance that they became so happy the masters of heaven they became worthy of worship by being cursed they became worshippers om shanti children come here to madhuban to bab dada when you enter the hall you just see the brothers and sisters sitting then when you see bab dada arriving you remember the father you are the children of prajapita brahma brahmins the brahma kumars and kumaris those brahmins don't know father brahma at all you children know that when the father comes brahma vishnu and shankara are then definitely needed it is said trimurti god shiva speaks now he would not speak through all three would he make your intellect imbibe these aspects very well you definitely receive your inheritance of heaven from the unlimited father so what do devotees want from god liberation in life they are now in life of bondage everyone remembers the father come and liberate us from this bondage only you children know that baba has now come the father comes cycle after cycle they also call out you are the mother and the father but no one even knows the meaning of that they do understand that it applies to the incorporeal father they sing out but they don't receive anything you children receive your inheritance from him now and you will receive it again after a cycle you children know that the father comes and gives you your inheritance which lasts for half a cycle and that ravana then curses you the world doesn't even know that we are all cursed we were cursed by ravana that is why everyone is unhappy the people of bharat were happy yesterday it was the kingdom of lakshmi narayan in bharat people bow down their heads in front of the deity idols and worship them but none of them know when the golden age existed now look if the golden age were hundreds of thousands of years and there were then the silver copper and iron ages of the same duration then according to that calculation there would be so many human beings there would be so many human beings just in the golden age this doesn't sit in the intellect of any human being the father sits here and explains look it has even been remembered that there were 330 million deities there wouldn't be only that many in hundreds of thousands of years therefore this too has to be explained to human beings you now understand that baba is making our intellects clean ravana makes your intellects degraded this is the main factor in the golden age you are pure here you are impure no one knows from when until when it was the kingdom of rama or what the duration of the kingdom of ravana is they think that both the kingdom of rama and the kingdom of ravana exist here there are various opinions there are as many opinions as there are human beings here 
you children now receive unified undivided directions which only the father gives you are now becoming deities through brahma the praise of the deities is sung you are full of all virtues 16 celestial degrees full they too were human beings so why is the praise of human being sung there would be a difference would there not you children number wise according to your efforts are now learning the task of changing human beings into deities you transform iron aged human beings into golden aged deities that is you make them into the masters of the abode of peace brahmand and the world this is not the abode of peace you definitely do have to perform actions here that is the sweet silence home you now understand that we souls are the masters of the sweet home brahmand you reside there beyond sorrow and happiness then in the golden age you become the masters of the world you children are now becoming worthy the accurate aim and objective are in front of you you children are those with the power of yoga they are the ones with physical power you are also on a battlefield but you are doubly non violent they are violent the sword of lust is called violence sanyasis also understand that to be violence that is why they become pure no one but you has love for the father there is love between a lover and beloved that lover and beloved are known for their love in one word all of you are the lovers of me the beloved you have continued to remember me the one beloved on the path of devotion i now see simply become pure for this last birth and remember me accurately and you will then be completely liberated from having to remember me in the golden age there will be no need to have remembrance at all everyone remembers me when they are in sorrow this is hell it would not be called heaven eminent people who are wealthy consider it to be heaven for them here they have planes etc and all material comforts they live with such blind faith people also think you are the mother and the father but they don't understand anything which unlimited happiness did they receive no one knows this it is the soul that speaks you souls understand that we receive unlimited happiness its name is heaven the land of happiness everyone finds heaven to be very sweet you now know there were so many palaces of diamonds and jewels in heaven on the path of devotion there was such countless wealth that they created the somnath temple every image was worth hundreds of thousands where did it all go so much was looted and taken away there was that much wealth it is now in the intellects of you children we are once again becoming the masters of heaven through the father our palaces will be of gold even the doors will be studded with precious stones the jain temples were also built in that way there are no longer the diamonds that there were previously you now know that we are claiming our inheritance of heaven from the father shiv baba only comes in bharat only bharat receives the inheritance of heaven from god shiva christians also say that 3000 years before christ bharat was heaven who ruled the kingdom no one knows this but they do understand that bharat is very ancient therefore it was heaven the father is called heavenly god the father that is the father who establishes heaven surely 
The father must have come, and so you would have become the masters of heaven. You become the masters of heaven every five thousand years. Then, after half a cycle, the kingdom of Ravana begins. Show it clearly in the pictures, so that the matter of hundreds of thousands of years lives their intellect. Lakshmi and Narayan are not alone. They would have a dynasty. Their children would become kings. There are many who become kings. The whole rosary is created. It is the rosary that is remembered. Only the rosary of those who become the father's helpers and do the father's service is created. This is the memorial of those who come for the whole cycle, who become worshippers. and worthy of worship when you become worshipers from being worthy of worship you sit and worship your own rosary first they hold the rosary in their hands and then bow their head to it then they begin to turn the rosary you go around the whole cycle and then attain your inheritance from shivava only you know this secret Human beings rotate a rosary in the name of someone or other. They do not know anything. You now have the whole knowledge of the rosary. No one else has this knowledge. Are the Christians really able to understand whose rosary is rotated? This rosary is of those who become the father's helpers and do service. At this time, everyone. is impure those who were pure became impure as they came down they will now all return number wise they come number wise and they return number wise there are so many things to understand this is a tree there are so many branches and seeds this whole tree is now to be destroyed and then your foundation will be laid You are the foundation of this tree. Both the Sun dynasty and the Moon dynasty are in this. The religions of those who ruled in the golden and silver ages no longer exist. There are just images. You should know the biographies of those whose images you have. They just say that such and such a thing is hundreds of thousands of years old. but the oldest of all is in fact the original eternal deity religion there is nothing older than that otherwise everything can only be 2 and 1/2 thousand years old they dig down below and excavate it the old images that are worshiped on the path of devotion are removed from the temples which collapse during earthquakes and are then rebuilt the mines of diamonds and gold that are now depleted will then become full there all of these things are now in your intellect the father has explained the history and geography of the world how there are so few human beings in the golden age and how the population then increases all the souls continue to come down from the supreme abode as they continue to come the tree continues to grow then when the tree reaches a totally decayed stage it is said rama went and ravana who has a very big family went there are many religions our family is so small this is just the family of brahmins there are so many religions they publish the population census all of that is the community of ravana they will all go only a few will remain the community of ravana will not enter heaven they will all stay in the land of liberation however those of you who study will come down number wise in heaven you children have now understood how that is the incorporeal tree and how this is the human world tree this is in your intellect if you don't pay attention to the study you fail your examinations 
If you continue to study and teach, you remain happy. If you fall into the vices, all of this will be forgotten. It is only when souls are pure gold that they can imbibe well. A vessel of gold is pure, golden. If someone becomes impure, he cannot speak knowledge. You are now sitting in front of Baba. You know that God, the Father, Shibaba, is teaching us souls. We souls are listening through these organs. The one who is teaching is the Father. Where else in the whole world would there be such a school? He is God, the Father, the Teacher and the Sadguru. He will take everyone back. You are sitting in front of the Father. There is such a difference in listening to the Moli directly. This tip machine has been invented and one day everyone will have one. The Father has such things made for the happiness of the children. It is not a big thing. This one was an emperor. At first he was beautiful. Now he has become ugly. This is why it is said the ugly and the beautiful. You know that we were beautiful, that we have now become ugly and that we will then become beautiful again. Why should only one become that? Did the snake only bite one? After all, Maya is called the snake. By indulging in vices, everyone becomes ugly. These things have to be understood very clearly. The unlimited father says, By living at home with your family, become pure in this last birth for my sake. Baba begs this of the children. Become as pure as a lotus flower and remember me. And even in this birth, you will become pure. Also, by your staying in remembrance, sins of past births will be absolved. This is the fire of yoga through which the sins of many births are burnt away. As you come down from Sato Pradhan through the Sato, Rajo and Tamo stages, the degrees continue to decrease as alloy continues to be mixed in. The father now says, remember me alone. It is not that you will become pure by bathing in river water. Water too is an element. There are said to be five elements. How can those rivers be purifiers? Rivers emerge from an ocean. Therefore, first of all, the ocean would have to be a purifier. Would it not? Acha, to the sweetest, beloved, long lost and now found children, love, remembrance and good morning from the mother, the father Bab Dada. The spiritual father says Namaste to the spiritual children. The spiritual children says Namaste to the spiritual father. It sends for dhana, first point, in order to enter the rosary of victory, become the father's helpers. And do service. Have true love for the one beloved. Only remember the one. Second point. Keep your accurate aim and objective in front of you and make effort. Become doubly non-violent and continue to perform the elevated task of transforming human beings into deities. Blessing. May you be a charitable soul who makes souls full of all treasures on the basis of the authority of the Almighty. Description Just as the kings who had the authority of donating and performing charity had full power and on the basis of this power they could make anyone into whatever they wanted. Similarly, you charitable great donor souls have received the special authority directly from the Father of being conquerors of matter and conquerors of maya. You can enable any soul to forge a relationship with the father on the basis of your pure thoughts and make them full of all treasures. Simply use this authority accurately. Slogan When you celebrate completion and perfection, 
then time, matter and maya will bid farewell. Om Shanti.